Okay, in this video we're going to go over how to undo your previous reconciliation. This can be done with bank accounts, credit card accounts, any kind of balance sheet accounts that you've reconciled in the past. So essentially what you do is you go on in here to reconcile and you choose the account that you're wanting to undo the reconciliation for. I'm going to choose checking. So I can see right here it was last reconciled on 1031. Okay, I have a beginning balance of $100,000 around and uh, let's just say that that's way off because of some things that were deleted, some cleanup that happened, who knows why. But I need to undo my last reconciliation so that I can redo it. Okay, so down here on the bottom you can see I say undo last reconciliation. All right, it tells me my current beginning balance was this, my previous beginning balance is this. So what happens is I want to go look at my 1031 statement, because that was the last time I was reconciled, and make sure that on my bank statement it says the beginning balance was this number. That way I know that I'm re you know, undoing the proper month's reconciliation. So I'm just going to go ahead and say continue. It says it's been completed, okay, and then notice here changes this automatically to now it's last been reg reconciled on 930. And the statement date it's expecting now is 1031. Now let's just say another thing happened here. So I'm going to cancel out of this guy. I'm going to go look at my previous reconciliation report. Okay, for checking, I'm going to look at the August 31st report and not as a PDF but as a live live report okay all right so it's telling me that I have this one check here all right and here's my cleared balance okay but let's say that now I'm looking at that and I'm going wait a second if I look at my previously printed out reconciliation this had cleared Okay, so again, something got deleted and reposted and it's not marked as cleared in the bank, okay? So my bank register balance, if I look, go to do banking and reconcile right now, this beginning balance, excuse me, let me choose checking, this beginning balance is actually off by that $1,500 that's now not reconciled. Okay, so what I want to do is I'm going to come in here and do 95A67.53 minus 1500, okay? And that'll bring me to my true ending balance for my 1031 statement. Okay. All right. So basically what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to reconcile uh, to the true amount for 1031. But I'm actually wanting to capture this on the 831 bank reconciliation. So it'll show up on this report that we have in the background as when it cleared. Okay, so if I go ahead here, I say continue. All right, so I'm going to check off that 1500, the one that I had accidentally deleted, and then I have to mark it as cleared now. Notice my difference goes back to zero. My cleared balance, my ending balance is still 94,367.53, which is what my bank statement said at 1031. Okay, so I'm going to say reconcile now. And close out of here. Now, if I look at this report, notice it refreshes the report and it sticks that back up to the cleared column. All right, um, as of 8:31, that it's cleared. So that's a great way to reproduce those reconciliation statements. But then, if I go look now, if I go to banking and reconcile, okay, it's going to say last reconciled on 9:30. Okay, so now I still need to go in and do my 1031 reconciliation. All right, so that's just a little bit of quick tips how to undo reconciliations and how to stick some stuff into previous reconciliations so that you can keep your reports accurate and your bank balance accurate as well.